Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everybody out there in the world tuning in to the Zwift live broadcast with the Canyon SRAM team here at the Tour of California. We're here at the Amgen Tour of California at the Lake Tahoe Resort with the Canyon SRAM women's team. Um, we have a Zwift ride with the team about to take off right now, actually taking off in five, four, three, two, and one. Uh, and if you're tuning in on the bike right now, if you're tuning in from in Zwift right now, there'll be a, uh, a little bit of delay between the feed and what is actually happening in Zwift, just so you know. So make sure to be following in game exactly. Just take. Um, and so. It's off here. We've got hands uh, here team um you've been using uh zwift uh, i think a little bit in uh in your training in the winter training so far to get uh to get going again uh and now falling off the back a little bit oh you're good you're good 165 watts or so so <laughs> um so i wanted to the first thing i wanted to ask about the um the ride today is how does this fit in with your training today in preparation for the for the ride uh, in the tour of California? Um, it fits in well. I mean, I try and put it in my training. Um, last week I did one. Just made it like a double day. So I was able to do a road ride in the morning and then the evening do a swift session. So. And you guys already rode once today. You guys already went out and rode once today, correct? Yeah, we just got in from our ride, so... So, how does, so, so this fits in well to get uh, a little bit more blood flowing through the legs. Well, what kind of a ride is today for you guys? I know in prepping for any kind of race or anything, you guys just get in last night. What, um, what kind of preparations are, are you doing and how does this fit in with the preparations then as far as your riding goes prior to the tour? Um, we just did an easy hour. Um, we only got in late last night. So, yeah, it's just to prepare really. And we haven't been... Um, I mean, it's our first day at Altitude 2, so we're all feeling it quite yeah, a bit. Yeah, yeah. So. What are we at now? About 7,000 altitude? So, uh, race, so. Trying to uh, go in. This is a. With UHC and UHC. This year, what do you think? So, what. A lot. Come. Dip and. Lots of local spots. Good results here with this. At uh, the last stage in Sacramento. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Right so looking to maybe repeat with the and coming back with the ankle flex. Strong, I would think. We up the fitness again. They have. They think. It's uh. <laughs> I ended up in the A group, so I won't do that again. Here's guys. A few of the Zwift Academy actually that you guys that we had from uh, sorry. <laughs> from Hannah Byron personal side with all these different women through the Zwift out on Zwift you know out on Zwift um, and you know, I think they all want to know how did each of you start cycling because you're introducing these women to a, a lot of 27 on Women, but at the um, and years old team that got you up through the ranks. So very cool, very cool, Hannah. All right, well, looks like here, Hannah. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all out before the. Guariski, Barbara Guariski. Yeah. I'm going to come. Just a few general questions, real quick. Um, just, easy just easy questions. Okay, we'll stick with the easy. Uh, understand? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and um, I think week was it? Was it last week? Correct. Yeah. Sprint, sprint race was that again? It was. Uh, I had the. Sprint. My shoulder. Uh, and I saw. 
I'm live streaming this thing. Get into writing. I know. Um, I've seen that all of the races are getting expanded for you guys this year. You have more stages in the Tour of California, um, and even with the time trial coming up on the second day too. Um, so definitely some expansion for you guys in the uh, in the tour this year. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and grab a couple of, a couple of these questions for you. Um, so we did that. So, okay, here's a good one from the Zwift Academy, one of the women who actually rides in the Zwift Academy. So these are all questions from women in the Zwift Academy who are looking up to you guys and want to know more about you, guys, you gals. Um, how many hours a week do you train? Yeah, normally in a week I don't have time also for myself. So <laughs> uh, honestly, uh, I, I did just one time in the winter. But uh, yeah, I was lucky that the weather was good. Okay. So my training was just in a race, in, in a road. Uh, well, yeah. How many hours a week? How many hours a week do you train, though? Uh, in a road? On the road, yeah. Yeah. Not just on Zwift. No, not just. <laughs> two, three hours per day? Mm -hmm. Okay, two to three hours. Depending on the base period, I would have. And then, uh, any hope for the tour? Any goals that you in this and uh, in every race by stage yeah stage by stage really a little bit with the circuits at the end I think that the last day is better oh the last day the last day is better the last day is better okay okay yep, gotcha gotcha all right thank you so much barbara really thank appreciate you. it looks like you're hanging out here with al mcgrew in game out of the united states and they got your flag there hanging out yeah. out of italy awesome very cool very very cool all right we're gonna move on here to lisa lisa brenner how's it going lisa good doing good doing, doing good nice. Are you are you in a, are you in with the group? Did they drop you too? Uh, I'm in a smaller group because yeah, I was going my two <laughs> watts per kilogram. No, I think I think you're with I think you're with the group. I think you're with the group. Yeah, you're I'm doing with the one group. But yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so a uh, lot of uh, big results I think so far <laughs> this year. Uh, from what I was seeing, we were doing a little research prior, and um, so in a. Uh, Let's see, points jersey uh, this year at the Energy yeah. Vacht, at the Energy Vacht, correct? Is yeah. that right? And yeah. also third overall. Um, and also second at the Ghent Wel yeah. So um, a couple of really big results. Do you got, is that like got a lot of motivation for you coming into uh, a tour like the Tour of California? Oh, yes. Well, of course, uh, I'm happy with my results of, uh, yeah, the women's world tour race in Ghent Wevergem and also Energy Vacht tour. So... Yeah, of course, I I came here with lots of motivation and I had a, a good break, like a week off the bike to recover and, uh, yeah, c come back uh, stronger, do some good preparation, and uh, I've been doing some good trainings last week cool, cool. and came here. Yeah, yeah, good, good. Awesome, awesome. Um, something that was interesting to me was the addition of the team time trial in the Tour of California this year, and you're a 2015 world champion, right, on the, time, on the time trial bike. So is that, like, really exciting for you, then, to have something that's kind of toward your discipline? Um, well, one of your strengths, as far as your disciplines go, to really show some strength of the team? Yes, of course. I mean, I, I love the time trials, and uh, also, of course, the team time trials. It's going to be <laughs> different to go on the road bikes. Uh -huh. yeah, so... Yeah, yeah. Uh, instead of the TT bikes, but yeah, I mean, it's an interesting event that they added to the tour. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this event with my team, of course. We're, um, yeah, some of us have been part of the world champion team in the team time trial. And for us, it's always a nice and important event. And yes, of course, we're looking forward to it. Yeah, the, uh, so something new with the team time trial. And, and that's interesting that they're letting you. They're um, having you use road bikes yeah. instead of time trial bikes um, in there. Do you have any idea what's going on with that? Why that might be? Uh, 
maybe I mean it would have been uh, some issue bringing all the TT equipment here. I mean, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, we would have ne needed to bring a lot of additional equipment. Yeah, yeah. So maybe that was one part. Uh, actually, I can't see so many other reasons than <laughs> the than this uh, of uh, yeah this big thing of bringing all the equipment over. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Definitely. Um, and so I see you've been a part of the Zwift Academy rides, correct? You've been, you've been, you've helped run a ride, at least one ride, I believe. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah, I've been doing one Zwift Academy ride already, and some other rides just for training. Uh, yeah. So. What? Uh, so what do you think about the Zwift Academy? What like? I mean, they're trying to identify talent through the Zwift Academy to gain a place on um, the. Canyon Tram team for next year. What do, what do you what do you think about that, and what kind of rider do you think is going to come out of that kind of a program? Yeah, it's an interesting program, and uh, I mean it's just uh, unfolding now, so it still uh, needs some time, I think. But it's going to be exciting, and I don't know yet what kind of rider will come from it. Like, uh, but of course it's a great opportunity, and also. Um, how should I say, it's uh, also for us um, new yeah, and yeah, yeah. so we are excited to see what kind of riders can uh, unfold from this. Yeah, yeah. yeah, definitely new and innovative. That's definitely yeah. something I think that you guys are all about is new stuff, innovative as well as growing cycling with women. Um, and. Uh, the so with the Zwift Academy, have you you know Zwift is all about community. It really is. Cycling is social, and for me, when I'm uh, first got into Zwift, um, it it wasn't so much about the course. Although the course is amazing, yeah. it's really cool to get the interaction with the course, feel the course, um, you know, and be out there in a virtual world. But at the same time, cycling is social, and a lot of times that's what drives it, right? That you know, yeah. the competition, pushing each other a little yeah. bit. Have you had any of that in this with the academy? Do you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Um, so, whenever I join a ride, or ride, oh, it's bad weather. Um, whenever I come up the screen. People are like, whoa, it's a bro in the house, and they, <laughs> hi Lisa, hi Lisa, hi Lisa. You get a lot of hype and a lot of communication, a lot of hype. Communication is going on, so I think it's exciting and I, I like it. So, um, so far it was uh, really nice to, to, to chat with some people and, um, yeah, also that they directly recognize, oh, I'm, I'm here, I'm taking part in the, in the ride, even so if I, don't communicate this before on Twitter or whatever. Mm -hmm. They they realize it and they recognize me and communicate with me. Yeah, and they show up. They show up specifically to ride with you. I mean, I know a lot of these women. I interact with a lot of them directly on my on my Twitch channel, my live yeah. streams and stuff. And they a lot of the women are talking about Zwift Academy all the time. Yeah. They are on uh, when I'm riding with them on Zwift. They're in their kit. They're you know they have ZA next to their name all the time. They never they never yeah. take ZA off. You can see G Chan yeah. here with ZA next to the name. Yeah. Um, you know, so it's definitely something they're all really hyped up about to be able to ride with you. Uh, ladies out on Zwift. Um, the other thing, uh, so as far as the race goes at the Tour of California, yeah. do, you guys, do you guys have a team leader? Are there stages you're trying to look at specifically or goals that you're trying to go after in this race specifically? Um, yeah, uh, I mean, it's a pity that we came here without our defending champion, Trixie Warak. But... Um, Which I hear she is well on the way to recovery yeah, so on the bike again yeah. that's really awesome to hear and total thoughts go out to her and encouragement toward her to get better so yeah. um i hear she's out well on the way so that's what i just wanted to say that's great um, another rider of us that has been doing really great here last year was alena i'm your music so for sure the top finish would suit her and um i mean we have to see how the standings are after the first two days, after the TTT, and um, then we can look for the last two stages. So I think that we first have to see day by day and wait till after the TTT, and then, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We can see. yeah definitely, definitely. It's going to be 
the, the leader then. Uh, if you have a TTT in the stage race and the um, mountaintop finish, like hilltop finish race, yeah, I think that's something you have to wait for. And after that, you can make the the plan for the last two days. Yeah, we were having a little talk with your marketing manager a little bit beforehand, before the ride, and, and there definitely um, sounded like uh, you guys were unpredictable. That was kind of, that was the word that was used, that, that you can throw anybody out there depending on the day and make on-the-spot decisions more or less as to who's got a good day and who can make an attack and where the talent lies on that day to really support whoever needs to be supported rather than this is just our leader for sure and kind of be rigid with that. So be able to throw anybody out there to maybe throw a curveball at some of the peloton as well. Yeah, I think that has been a strength of us also in the past and uh, for sure that's also something we can count on now for this tour. Um, we have several riders, we have different strengths that we can use, we can go in a breakaway, we can also wait for the hilltop finish. I mean, there is for sure a lot of strength in this group that we want to use in the best possible way. And one of the things is being unpredictable. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and definitely a, uh, when this team was announced, I think everybody saw that there was a lot of heavy <laughs> editors that came in to the team and really, um, uh, we're going to be a threat on the tour, on the new world tour for sure. Um, that uh, in 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 all the all the presses that went went out about it, you guys were definitely one of the highlights. Um, so this question as well, back to to game and populations who's cycling another population a little bit who Swift specifically. Games at all, or is it? Um, I did, and like, um, I have an older brother, and so <laughs> yeah, you know, that's just one thing you have to do with your older brother, I guess. <laughs> no, but I enjoyed it, I liked it. Uh, not so much anymore, I don't do it so much anymore. Um, well, now you do, now, now you do. Our racing game. Okay, what was your favorite? Uh, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Can get you can use oh actually no, a nice fall I liked it so much I liked it. and uh, I asked my parents if I what age was that at uh, eleven eleven years old thirteen okay. so he started sixteen um he level. <laughs> um aspect of it also in so long time to go and going time is flying by and this week I did some some rides at home on Swift and went up the mountain, the hilltop finish, and or the yeah the KOM. And do you go for the KOM when you when you do it? Do you, do you go for the epic KOM? Uh, I didn't. Yeah, I, I went up there, but I I went my own like normal speed, and um, but I ended up with some mountain jersey and a goat. <laughs> she got the. Uh, she didn't go for it. Just going my own pace, but yeah. got the mountain jersey anyways. I don't think that I did the I did, didn't do the fastest time, but I still got some kind of jersey. So there's a queen of the mountain and there's a king of the mountain jersey. So you probably got the queen of the mountain jersey, I would think. Then so for the women, there's a queen of the mountain and a uh, or or did you get the polka dot red and white one maybe on the regular KOM perhaps? Uh, no, it, was the epic. it was the epic. It was the blue and the white. Yeah, and so for those of you just tuning in for uh, and unfamiliar with Zwift, there's all kinds of jerseys out on Zwift. And so you got a sprinter's jersey, you've got a KOM jersey, you've got an epic KOM and a blue and a white jersey, and uh, as well as the fastest lap, which is the orange jersey out on Zwift. These are all accomplishments that you can hold while you are out on out on course. And so it sounds like Zwift. Um, is it, it, it was motivating a good and. Swift. Uh, so, uh, we'll get one for you real quick. 
this thing. <laughs> I was really young. Luckily, my brother and uh, he. But then. Uh, earlier. But I think that this thing I. I forgot. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty serious. Although. Back to you. Good job. Hanging with the group. See, she's hanging with China, USA, Korea. I mean, people from all over the world. Australia, uh, Great Britain, Canada. Lots of riders. Great. If there's a ride from Great Britain out there, there it's it's uh, super super late. But yeah. people tuning in from all over the world right now, um, hanging out on with, with the Canyon Tram. Thank you so much, Lisa. We'll come back to you in a minute here. And uh, moving on to Elena. Elena, can you help me out with your last name, please? Sorry? <laughs> the, your, the, the last name. Elena Amilusk? Amilusik. 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 Yes. Got it. We got it. Thank you so much. Um, and uh, you're riding out here on Zwift. It looks like almost packed up. Here we go. We got Katrina Weiss in, in, uh, in view, Allison Kibuta, a lot of riders that are, I'm familiar with, with the Zwift Academy here. Uh, just a few seconds up. Um, and I think... One of the main things when I was uh, looking at the team and coming into the Tour of California with you was your uh, strength is climbing, I think. Is that correct? Yes, it's yeah. correct. Yeah. And um, I think uh, last year, uh, third in the stage, uh, in one of the stages in the 2015 Tour of California, which stage was that? It was the first stage and I was second at first stage. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so a second. Sorry, apologies. Second, second. And then recently you also had a uh, points uh, classification win in the Czech Republic. Uh, I think, was that last week? Is that correct? Yeah, last week. So congratulations on that. That's pretty good. And third overall? Third overall, I believe? Yes, yeah. point classification, yeah. Yeah, awesome. Awesome. And um, what do you think of the, of the team so far with uh, Canyon came in with Canyon Tram this year? Um, <laughs> and I'm going to be here. A couple of the Academy questions. Your thoughts on the Zwift Academy? To identify talent to be on your team next year. Some of these women who are going to be riding with you in Zwift with the Zwift Academy, they're in pre registration right now. They have over 300 women registered right now for this, just in pre registration. And, uh, you know, anybody can join up and we can find talent that might not have been found otherwise through this new virtual environment. Um, what, uh, what are your thoughts on, on, on that idea of identifying a new pro rider through the Zwift Academy? I think it's a really good idea because, yeah, it's a chance for a lot of team. I think it also people uh, who live in Russia, Belarus, Ukraine, they can try the same thing because, for example, in our country, we not have really opportunity to go in the big races, but yeah, we have really strong and talent, talent people. And I think it's really, really good that what Zwift is doing for us and for women cycling. Yeah, yeah. so it, it gives an opportunity to people who might not have the connections, might not have the ability to find a team or even develop into cycling. It's a whole other way to directly connect to a cycling community and to professionals like yourself to ride with them. So very, very awesome. Um, so. Uh, I guess the question we've been asking to all of them, all the women so far, is how did you get into cycling? Oh yeah, it's so interesting story because before I was, um, I did uh, rhythmic gymnastic. Gymna gymnastics. Okay, so gymnastics was the first sport. Yes, the first sport, and then later I just changed for cycling because I wanted to ride my bike, <laughs> to ride a, prof a bike, road bike, not normal bike, but road bike, and. I saw sometimes a group of cyclists, and then one time I met a coach, and he asked me if I can, if I want to come to this group, and I said yes, of course. And yeah. how old were you at the time? Um, I started when I had has uh, 12? twelve. Twelve. Yeah, and now it will first June. It will. 15 years. 15 years cycling, 15 years cycling. And was there a development program then that, that you got a part of? You were in a development program then in Belarus, is that right? Yes, yes. After this, I went in school, sports school. And uh, I studied in sports school and start to do cycling more professional. And uh, yes, then I 
uh, went to university, sport university. And then one time I, went, I was an Italian team. And after this, I found my really, really nice team. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Um, are there any other disciplines that you, uh, that you did prior to road? I mean, you're on a full-on world tour road team now. Were there any other? A lot of uh, girls I noticed on the team had either a mountain bike background or a cyclocross background. Other disciplines that you were in before or take place in now? Um, now, only four years, I'm doing uh, road cycling, but before I was a track cyclist. Uh, oh, a track cyclist? You were on the track? Oh, okay, cool. I start with the track, and uh, till uh, 2012, I ride only for track races. Uh, road races was only for preparation. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Oh, wow. Okay, and so when you first started out, it was actually mainly on the track, then, it sounds like. Yeah. Okay, very cool. Um, and how do your... Parent, this is another Zwift Academy, another woman from the Zwift Academy submitted this question. How do your parents feel about you being a professional cyclist? <laughs> so how do your parents, like, is, uh, what's their idea? What the, how do they feel about you riding as a professional cyclist? Yeah, well, they're happy for me, yeah. And for sure, I can't see my parents often, but sometimes they visit me. And uh, all races in Belarus and near Belarus, they watch but yeah, they're proud of me for sure. Of course, of course they are. Of course they're very proud. Uh, winning races on the Grand Tour, I mean, that's pretty amazing. And uh, a very amazing accomplishment uh, from the just 15 years in the sport. So a lot of hard work. Um, and so do you have uh, any goals then looking toward the Tour then, looking toward this race right now? Um, obviously, you had some good results last year at this race. Um, what do you consider maybe your favorite stage on the race this week? Yeah, my favorite stage is uh, climb stage for sure, mm -hmm. and um, my goals like in our team we w we would like to show uh, our best and to do some good results. Awesome. Yeah, we're looking forward for some victory. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Awesome. All right, we'll come back. We'll come back and uh, hopefully we can catch you up to the group here. <laughs> <laughs> just, just hanging out to talk with Nathan on the side of the road. <laughs> it looks like Hannah's really going for it here, everybody. Uh, putting, really working up, working up a sweat um, over here. We're gonna get back to a couple more Zwift Academy questions here, I think. Um, so, do you typically train using power or heart rate, Hannah? We're back with Hannah Barnes from Great Britain, um, and uh, she's currently with the group. And let's see, it looks like you're with the whole group, right? Yeah, it looks like you're hanging out all CSR uh, here. And so what, uh, yeah, do you mainly power, mainly heart rate? What's, what's your opinion there? What do you like? Um, I do both now, heart rate and power. Last year I, I hadn't, but after my injury, it was, kind of, it was how I've been monitoring the progress and what I need to do and stuff. So that's just how I've been monitoring everything. Yeah, that's really, really key to have something objective, I would think, to know, you know, your heart rate kind of just stays the same all the time and you just know you're suffering right, <laughs> at certain heart rates. But with the power, I would think that you really can get an idea of how things are coming back from that injury, especially. We were talking a little bit before about how you've seen the progress, actually, in uh, the differentiation between the legs uh, over, over a little time. Is that right? Yeah, um, I mean, when I first started, I think the actual biggest difference I've seen is my heart rate, because I essentially... Form has probably helped with that a ton, I would think. Yeah, it has. I mean, um, when we were on team camp, I wasn't able to do, take part, but um, it was really cool to watch. All the girls were going really into it, trying to race each other and get the sprint jerseys and things. So, no, it's really cool, and it is... I don't know, it's just a really nice thing to, if you come back from work and it's dark or raining, it's a really good thing to, to do, and I'll do a lot more of them, yeah. Yeah, um, and as far as the social, the community side of it, I mean, you've been connecting with a lot of these Zwift Academy girls at this point. Does anybody, do you, do you know any of these people at this point? Or, I mean, I know we're in pre-registration at this point, but I'm just wondering, that's kind of been in the back of my mind. I mean, I know a lot of the Zwift Academy girl has probably helped with that a ton, I would think. Yeah, it has. I mean, um, when we were on team camp, I wasn't able to do, take part, but um, it was really cool to watch. All the girls were going really into it, trying to race each other and get the sprint jerseys and things. So, no, it's really cool, and it is, 
I don't know, it's just a really nice thing to, if you come back from work and it's dark or raining, it's a really good thing to to do and I'll do a lot more of them, yeah. Yeah, um, and as far as the social, the community side of it, I mean, you've been connecting with a lot of these Rift Academy girls at this point. Is anybody, do you, do you know any of these people at this point? Or, I mean, I know we're in pre-registration at this point, but I'm just wondering, that's kind of been in the back of my mind. I mean, I know a lot of the... Drift Academy girls just from uh, my interaction with the community. So I'm just wondering, are any, not standouts as, as far as like talent goes, but just people that you've been able to connect with through the platform? Yeah, I mean, last Wednesday I did the Swift Academy and uh, it was uh, riders from all back home. So oh, London. Really? So there were actually people that were yeah. from back home that you knew some of these people too? Uh, yeah, there was a few people that'd come up and I knew who they were and then... Uh, People are like everyone was messaging on the thing, just saying hello and stuff. So, no, it's really good. And it's strange because it is just, it is a game, but it does feel like you're riding with them. So, no, it's good. Yeah, and you mentioned the game thing. So, what I, I think I already asked this question earlier, but uh, when we were before, before the cast, but were you a gamer at all prior? Did you play any games at all prior to Zwift? I mean, it is, uh, what, what was your experience with gaming prior to this? Um, I did. We, we had a PlayStation. Uh, so I used to play a couple of games, car games and FIFA Street and things like that. So I did do stuff, but um, yeah, it wasn't as hard of work as this, though. <laughs> it wasn't as hard of work, yeah, definitely. So this is the game you play to get in shape. That's the yeah. that's the idea here, right? Yeah. And what do you think about the, the gamifying of it? That's a, that's a term that's kind of used amongst the Zwift community a little bit. The idea of gamifying a little bit, having... Um, there's actually two different races. You were really impressed with the idea that there was racing going on in Zwift, and there's actually community organized events. There's the Zwift training race, as well as the KISS, keep it simple, stupid race that goes on. And they're actually, um, at all different times throughout the day uh, throughout, and throughout the week, to serve different areas of the world. Um, but some of the races want to be as, more, as realistic as possible. There are no power-ups allowed and... All, all this, and, and then there's some of them that are like, just do whatever you want. Use a TT bike, use the game. If I, what, do, you have, do you have maybe have an opinion on that? Like, do you want it to be really like, like real life? Or, well, maybe some Mario Kart. Let's get some red shells in there and throw them around. No, I think it's good if it's real life. It, it's just testing. I mean, you can, you can do a group ride and be in a time trial bike, but it's, it's just not as hard, so... No, it, it's good. I don't think it should turn into a game. <laughs> so you like you you like the idea of the real deal. Yeah. Come on, guys, you got to suffer to hang on here uh, and uh, really get the uh, the full on uh, chasing pixels out out of it. Get on the full on motor pacing. Yeah. Right on, right on. Let's see if we got another uh, Zwift Academy question here for you. Uh, so if you weren't a cyclist, right? So if you weren't a cyclist, what would be your second favorite sport? What would be your, yeah, so, they, they, you know, I thought the question was going to be, the, the, what would you be doing instead? Maybe we could ask that too, but what would be your favorite sport uh, besides cycling? Um, at school, I was a pretty good um, athletics runner, like a sprinter, 100 meters, 200 meters, and I um, also play hockey. You played hockey? Not, On the, uh, not ice hockey? Okay, not ice hockey? No, hockey. I made the county for that but um it was kind of when i had to decide what i wanted to do so cycling one cycling one cycling one you liked it the most right on and what, what was the what, what was the motivation behind that you just loved it the most or yeah um i loved it it was kind of it was, all my family are involved so it was kind of a family thing and so it's a family tradition so there's other cyclists in the family then uh yeah when i was younger all of us used to do it and now i'm um, just my, me and my sister do it so Gotcha, gotcha. Yep, and I would, yeah, and she was with you on team last year, is that correct? No. No, okay, I'm, I was read that wrong then, sorry. I read that wrong then, sorry. Um, all right, thank you, Hannah. What's going on in the game here? We've got, uh, Hannah's in with the CSR. It looks like there's a ton of riders all around you. I see Shane Miller uh, coming from Australia. I think it's pretty, I think it's the middle of the morning for him over there. Um, and you guys are hammering out, uh, I think you got the ride leader. So do they give you that at all the, yeah, that is you, that is you, you got the ride leader. <laughs> Where's Hannah? Where's Hannah? And uh, you guys got about five minutes left, it looks like, in the ride. It's a 50-minute total. You guys have done 22.8 miles, 
And uh, do you watch? What do you watch more? I mean, I tend to watch my watts per kilo because that's like the real. In some people's minds, that's the real measurement. You know what I mean? Like, how are things going there? What do you tend to watch more, though? Do you watch the watts per kilo, or do you watch the watt just straight watts, or both? Uh, I normally do the watts. At the moment, I'm just watching the time because I'm, I'm really tired. <laughs> but, no, uh, I mainly just watch slick of the watts. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like you're getting a lot of ride-ons. What do you yeah. think of that feature? That's a pretty cool feature to be able to give people encouragement. It's in my back pocket. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Except for I think they weigh you down a little bit. They, they, I, I feel like the more ride-ons I get, no, the more ride-ons you get, you just get, you, the, more, the longer you've been out on course, I think. The longer you've been out on course. Um, and then, uh, let's see, looks like you guys are about halfway through the, uh, the uh, underground tunnel. For some of you who might not be familiar with Zwift, um, or all you who are familiar with Zwift, you know that there's been a ton of expansions, actually. Uh, have you been, how long have you been riding Zwift for, before we talk about the expansions? Um, well, I only got introduced to it on camp in December. Okay. And then, uh, so maybe a couple of months now. Okay, so since December. So I believe uh, the there was a bunch of expansions that recently came out with the mountain route and also the underground under underwater tunnel. Uh, and so the riders are currently going through the underwater tunnel past the uh, the marina. Uh, and so the the game has expanded a ton. Did did you have any imp first impressions about the mountain route and what that was like to to experience it? It's hard. It's, it's quite an unusual feeling when you have, you're riding and then it just suddenly gets harder. Do you, you have a smart trainer then, obviously, that you're using at home? Yeah, we have a Wahoo kicker at home that they provided for us, so <laughs> it makes it a lot harder. Yeah, do you, do you tend to go for a lot of the achievements then? Is it motivating then for you to go for those achievements out on course, or do you stick to, I got a certain plan today, and this is what I'm going to be doing? I mainly just like riding with everyone. It's... <laughs> It's just like going on the group ride at home, really. So gotcha. I do sometimes if I feel like attacking up a climb or something. <laughs> but I tend to wait for everyone when I get to the top. So Yeah, 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 definitely. I think that's the question we're going to go to as we're getting toward the end. We've got another two minutes or so left in the ride. I think that's the, that's the fun question we're going to go through with everybody here about the achievements out on course and going for those and making it more competitive. Uh, for you out on your ride. Thanks, Hannah, and good luck in the good luck in the Tour of California. We're really looking forward to it. I'm sure everybody who's out on course is going to be watching and uh, rooting for you guys for sure. Um, so, Barbara, I think the question then is, um, when you're out on course, uh, there was a recent expansion, the Mountain Route, uh, right? And there's a uh, all the jerseys and and um, the the king of the mountain with the polka dot jersey. Do you tend to go for a lot of the achievements and like get kind of competitive out there, out on course? No, no, of course, no, no. Uh, I think that uh, that that is good for the people that uh, join uh, in uh, in this game. Yeah. Yeah, but it's more like stick to the plan. I got a certain yeah. I got a certain plan today, and uh, if I go and do that, it might ruin my training. If I keep on going intense every single day. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, it's a pretty hard. I mean, it's pretty hard to grab a jersey. You're against the entire group, a huge, huge pool of riders. So it's a huge effort. I know for me, it's a gigantic effort to try and grab one anytime. <laughs> usually, usually uh, can't do so all all the time. So I think I have. I, I can. Uh, I can win the black jersey. Of the, 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 the last uh, of the group, <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then what, I, I, we're going to do this one, what is your favorite sport? What, is, what would be your favorite sport if you weren't doing cycling? Uh, I can't explain in English because I don't know the word, but uh, it's uh, the roller in the ice. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, uh, you understand? Ice skating? Yeah. Ice skating. Yeah. Speed? Speed like speed skating. Yeah. Awesome. Because you're a sprinter. That makes a lot of sense. A lot of the sprinters do go over to that. Yeah. Do go over to that. All right. And so we've got 30 seconds left in the ride. 30 seconds left in the ride. Everybody, thank you so much for joining in for this ride on Zwift with the Tour of California at the Tour of California with the Canyon Shram team. Make sure to follow them uh, this, this next week coming up. Cheer them on. Uh, follow them on all their social medias. Shout out to them on all those places. And uh, all you women out there, make sure to get involved with the Zwift Academy. Pre-registration is open right now. There's a talent identifier, and uh, they're trying to fill a spot 
on the team next year. So make sure to get involved and get in on